Hi everybody, Exam Sam Study Aids and Media here. So in this video we're going to cover the following six math topics that are on the HESI test. We're going to have a look at computations with integers, percentages and decimals, fractions and mixed numbers, measurements in the metric system, in other words conversions, military time, and PEMDAS, or in other words the order of operations. So let's have a look at our first problem. Here we have computations with integers. Now we're going to give you a few moments time to have a look at each of these problems. If you need more time though, please press the pause button because you're going to see the answer and a worked out solution on the next screen. For the problem we've just seen then, the correct answer is B. So, for step one, how many total items are needed? Here we've got 12 children going to the party, 4 items per child, so we need 48 items altogether. For your second step then, you need to take the total that she needs, and then from that figure, you need to subtract the amount she already has. So, 48 items needed, minus the 40 items she's got now, 8 items that she needs to buy. Moving on to our next problem. This one is on percentages. Again, take a few minutes to look at the problem and to think about how you're going to solve it and work out your solution. Okay, we can see here that the correct answer is D. For your first step, you need to express 25% in decimal form. Remember that to express a percentage as a decimal, you remove the percent sign and move the decimal point two places to the left. For step two, when you see of what number in a problem, it means that you need to divide. 100 divided by 0.25 equals 400, which is our answer. For step three, then, you can check your result if you so wish. 400 times 0.25 is 100, which was the figure in our original question. Okay, moving on then to a problem with decimals. Here we need to subtract two decimals. Have a look and solve. Okay, the correct answer for this one is 11.882. So you need to line up the decimals and then cancel out carrying the one over as shown below. Let's go to the next question. This one is on fractions and mixed numbers. Have a look here, read the problem, and solve. The correct answer for this problem is C. For step 1, subtract your whole numbers. For step 2, find the lowest common denominator. Here we know the lowest common denominator is 12 because the common factors are 3 times 4, which is 12, and 2 times 6, which is also 12. For your third step, then, you need to convert the fractions. 3 fourths from our first mixed number, conversion factor of 3 over 3, gives us the converted fraction of 9 twelfths. 1 sixth on the second mixed number, times the conversion factor 2 over 2, gives us the converted fraction of 2 over 12. Combine the whole numbers and the fractions, then, to solve. So here we can see our result is 15 and seven twelfths miles. Let's move on then to a problem on conversions and measurements. Here we have a practical problem like you might see in your health care profession. The correct answer for this one is 18.912 inches. For step one, you need to be sure to use the correct conversion factor. Now can we emphasize how important this is? Be sure to use all of the correct conversion factors on the exam. And we go into more depth on conversions in our book, which you'll see at the end of this video. So the conversion factor here, 1 centimeter, equals 0.394 inches. So we need to then multiply to solve. 48 times 0.394 equals 18.912 inches. You're also going to see problems on military time on the HESI exam. Okay, take a few moments and try to work out the problem. The correct answer here is D. 
Remember that when the time is in p.m., you need to add 12 hours. So for our first step, write out the time in words. 5.32 p.m. is 5 hours plus 12 hours plus 32 minutes. Then add the hours together to get 17 hours. Finally, express that in military time, 17 hours and 32 minutes is 1732 military time. For our last problem on this video, we're going to have a look at what's called PEMDAS. PEMDAS refers to the order of operations. So you're going to have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction in that order. So have a look at the problem and try to solve. The correct answer here is 26. So first of all, take your problem and put the parentheses in around the multiplication since we need to do that first. For step 2, do the multiplication to get 18 in your new expression. Then finally, you add up the three figures to get 26 for our solution you may want to consider purchasing our HESI math book. All of the problems in our book have easy and clear step-by-step -step solutions, so even if you struggle with math, our book will help you get the edge you need on exam day. Please also visit us at www.examsam.com for lots more great pre-exercises. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.